once again massive change in weather overcast that temperature's dropped down a little bit to where it has been but it's also raining and it's going to rain all day long but that does have its benefits saves us on watering and these steady downpours of rain that we get make a massive difference to how your plants grow in garden you'll be very surprised after a couple of days of rain just how much growth your plants put on and if you're a first time gardener you'll see exactly what I mean by the end of this week because it's raining I'll be doing a few bits and bobs in the greenhouse today I'll probably sow some fresh seeds so we can keep things like them salads continuously going maybe some more spring onions as well apart from that we've got a litmus patch in the garden perennial flowering plants and we put some plants in there just over a year ago they're only small things and you'll have seen them probably beginning of this year as we've passed that area and there was really small plants and they looked worse for wear because they died back over winter but as soon as we hit spring they started to put on new growth and then they send up long stems with flowers on and just two months later they look like this these are those small litmus plants that we put in and just look how much flowers on them now we've got pink flowers on some white flowers on another and they're massive compared to what they were an amazing display of colour at the same time Talking of flowers, we've noticed over the last few weeks that summer's potato plants have started to flower. And we're going to do something about that today. And I'll explain why we're doing it as well. As you've just seen, an amazing display of flowers. And those plants are around three feet high now. And they'll stay in flower until end of summer then once again they'll completely die back to nothing to just little plants and then they'll come back as even bigger plants next spring because the perennials not all flowers are good though especially ones on your potato plants when you see your potato plants starting to flower it means they're coming to end of their life cycle so they're going to flower and they're growing potatoes at the same time if you've never seen it before if you leave these flowers, they will turn into like little berries, which will grow to around about the size of a cherry tomato, but they stay green, they don't go red, and they are kind of a fruit, but they're definitely not edible. And pretty much all potato plants will do this at some stage. There are varieties out there that don't flower at all, but pretty much most of them do. So when you see these flowers growing, they can be purple, they can be white flowers, all different colours. You've got two choices. You can just leave them be, or you can cut them off. And there's two reasons you'd want to do that. One is for plant production, and the other is for safety. When those flowers die back, and they start forming little round green fruits, those fruits are poisonous. So you won't want somebody to mistake them, like a child, or even an animal, for an edible berry. It's not kill your poisonous, but it will give you a really bad stomach. So if you've got little ones running around, it might be an idea to cut these flowers off before they get a chance to form into these berries. And the other reason being that if you cut flowers away from the plant, it puts more energy into other parts of that plant. And in this case, it's going to put more energy into growing those potatoes because it's not feeding those flowers, trying to make little fruits on top, which are going to be no good for us anyway, so you might as well take them off. And this question was actually brought up a couple of days ago by one of the followers of this channel, asking if I take the flowers off. And the answer to that is yes and no. When you're growing first earlies, you only get really small potatoes. So, for me personally, cutting the flowers off doesn't seem worthwhile. But again, depending on what variety of potato you're actually growing. Because as I was saying, when it starts to flower, it's coming to the end of its life cycle basically. And it's looking to set seed, as does any other plant. And it's already growing your potatoes. 
So that's why they grow these flowers that become these little green fruits. Because inside those fruits, are seeds. So that plant can then reproduce itself for the following year. And you can grow your own potato plants from these seeds if you wanted to. But obviously that's gonna take a little bit longer than growing it from a seed potato. But if you wanted to try that, what you'd need to do is take some of these little berries and mash them up and then put them in water for around four days and then it'll start to ferment but your seeds will then sink to the bottom and then you just plant them into your trays like you would any other seed and grow little plants to put out later in here but it's more feasible for us to just buy a bag of seed potatoes and that's why nobody ever grows potato plants from seeds it's what's known as a true potato if you grow them from a seed so if you cut them off a first early plant for example it's not going to be that long before you harvest these plants and get those potatoes and they're only going to be as big as eggs anyway because that's about as big as new potatoes grow when you come to your second earliest which we're growing they can grow quite a bit bigger and your main crops grow bigger still so when you see your flowers on second earliest of main crops it's a good idea to just cut those flowers off so it stops putting energy into flowering and puts more energy into growing bigger potatoes. Because some second early potatoes can get quite big if you leave them long enough. So while ever they're in ground or in a container, trying to grow your bigger potatoes, as they're getting ready for that harvest, take those flowers off the top. And that's what we're gonna do today. Because we've got some containers that are flowering, some aren't, but the ones that are, we're just going to go around and just clip off those flowers on top to help it grow us bigger potatoes. At least we haven't got to walk too far because it's just right inside at greenhouse. And that's one for example. These are second early potatoes and they're flowering. And these flowers are now starting to get a bit tired. So they're about finished. But on other areas we've got new buds just coming. And we don't want to feed those energy at this stage so they become flowers there's another one just there so what we want to do with those is just cut them off just remove that whole bit before these flowers even get chance to open and this one has grown quite a long stem as well so I'll just go to the bottom of that stem and cut that off and that's that done then we've got these parts of plant with little buds just starting to form so we'll take those off as well it's not going to hurt your plant doing that we're doing it for that one reason to put energy back into the potatoes and there's one more just there so again we'll take that away and now this plant's not putting any energy at all into trying to make flowers because we've took that option away this plant however hasn't got any flowers on it at all and that's because it's a main crop plant not a second early so it's not reached that point yet where it starts to flower but this one has so cut those off stop letting it put that energy into doing that Or you could just pinch them off if they're only thin stems. And then I'll check for this again. Parts of the plant that are just starting to produce flowers and I'll take those away as well. And again there, uh, I'll pinch that off as well. And then I'll just go around the rest of these containers when it stops raining and we'll do exactly the same thing. This one has got a real big bunch of flowers on top, so that's taking lots of energy out. So we're definitely pinching that one off. And I'll do that just before I go back in, because I'm getting drowned. And again, that's that one done. Well, I definitely could have picked a better day to have done that, but 
it's half done now. As soon as that rain stops, we'll get the rest of it done. At least now I know that all those plants are now putting maximum energy into creating bigger potatoes for us, rather than trying to produce flowers that become fruits that are poisonous. So no good to anybody. So I'm gonna pop back down to the house and get dry, and then we'll come back out a bit later on, finish off those potato plants. And if you notice, we have got some that's not in flower yet, and that's because they're main crops. And they'll start flowering a bit later in season. But as soon as we see those buds appear, we'll be cutting those off before they even get a chance to become flowers. And that's going to guarantee us the biggest potatoes possible. See you next time.